We are rewriting literal equations and formulas for a specific variable today, and this is target 1D, day one. All right, so your objectives, you just have one. I can rewrite an equation to solve for a specific variable. That's pretty much all you're doing. Um, so it's not really nothing new. It's just that you have to think a little more conceptually for this unit. So here are some steps to rewrite it. So first, make sure you know the variable that it is you're at asked to being or you're asked to solve for so whatever variable they say to solve for that's the one you want to get completely by itself everything else has to be on the other side of the equation uh, equal sign um, make sure you're performing the opposite or inverse operations to clear the terms from one side of the equation to the other and uh, when all that remains is a positive variable you are done so let's start with a nice easy one um, I shouldn't say easy, but let's start with one of the more basic ones, and that's 15x plus 3y equals 48, and we're solving for y. So we want to get this by itself, which means just like, okay, so forget about, like, let's say we didn't have this here, and this was, we said, solve for y. You're following the same basic steps. Start off by subtracting 15x from both sides. That'll clear this side, giving you 3y equals negative 15x, plus 48. So remember we can't add these together or subtract because this doesn't have a variable. And that's okay, we keep them separate. So we still want to get this y by itself. We still have a 3 in front of it, so we need to divide that 3 away. So this cancels out, leaving us with just the y. Negative 15 divided by 3, I think we can all agree is negative 5. And then 48 divided by 3 is, oops, is 16. So what we end up getting is y equals negative 5x plus 16. So that's a, a somewhat basic example. So if you look at it really, you know, kind of closely, you're noticing that we're doing the same things we did with equations when we solved for one variable. So same here, y equals lxm plus n, and we're solving for x. So we want to start off, this is what we want by itself, so start off with addition and subtraction, subtract the n away. We can't combine those, so it's just y minus n equals lxn. And remember, this is all multiplication here. So this is l times x times m, and we want that x by itself. So since we're multiplying l and m, and we can do this at the same time, or you could do it one at a time if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but it's you may find, and actually this should be an m, you may find that it's easier to do it all at once. So divide both sides by lm and you end up with, because we're solving for x, so let me fix that. So what you should end up with is y minus n over lm, okay? And that's equal to x. And in the last step, we're solving for m again, and this time we have y sub two, so that's that little two that's by the y, minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub 1, and then we're solving for y sub 1. So this is what we're going to want to get by itself. Not with that sub negative sign, but with that. So we take our equation, and we're going to start. We've got this entire thing on the bottom that we're dividing by. So rather than try and pick it apart, we're just going to multiply both sides by the entire thing. And you can do that when there's nothing else down there that you need. So there's, we're not solving for anything down there. So when we do that, these whole things cancel out. And I'm not even going to try and multiply that together. I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm just going to change how it's ordered. So I'm just going to move that in front. It doesn't change the problem at all. So now I've got m times uh, the difference of x sub 2 and x sub 1 equals the difference of y sub 2 and y sub 1. So I still need to get this by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the y sub 2 from both sides. And again, I'm not going to do anything funky. I can't add this to anything in here. I can't combine it, so I'm just going to add tack it on to the end, so minus y sub 2. Now, we haven't really encountered this yet, but my only problem is I have this negative sign here, and I cannot have that. So when you have that, we basically change the sign of everything that's outside of parentheses. So this becomes plus. This becomes minus. This is inside the parentheses. We don't change it. This becomes plus, which gives us negative, uh, our final answer of negative m times x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus y sub 2 equals y sub 1. So this is going to take some practice, but once you get the hang of it and, you, it and it clicks that you're doing the same thing you did with equations, 
you will be fine, I promise. And as always, ask if you have any questions.